My name is Luke Robitaille. I used to play for the LA Kings. I played for a few other teams in the NHL. Now I'm the president of the LA Kings. So Luke, tell me, how did you first hear about Vox Life? I found out about Vox, um, it was like a few months ago when my good friend Marty Burns uh, started talking to me about it and what it would do for recovering. I've done about 1,400 brain maps though with and without the socks. And uh, I've done about 7,000 before that and I've never seen this, anything change the brain as much as these. I broke my foot when I was a player, my, uh, the top of my foot on my left side, and I've always had issues with, uh, with the, the big toe on an area that, on my left side. So it's, it's very random. I just put the socks on, and it, the, the fact that it kind of wraps them on top has been a savior for me. So it's, that's why I've been wanting to wear them every day, because it's something you don't think about it. You live with the pain every day. Next thing you know, you just put something on it. It changes the way you're just living every day. And so we're optimizing your neurology. And whatever you put your focus on, uh -huh. that's better. If it's shooting the puck, it's better. If it's jumping, it's better. If I didn't tell you, I put him on the ground, I put my foot on it, you'd probably see it. Yeah, yeah, we'll see a change in seven seconds. So I'm gonna record you just for a couple minutes. Okay. Eyes closed and then eyes open. And then we're gonna put the tech on your feet and do it again. All right, so here's a live feed of your brain. Mm -hmm. That's your entire brain. Ideally, it should be all green. Once we put your socks on, it's gonna turn bright lime green. That's why I've been wanting to wear them every day because it's something you don't think about it. You live with the pain every day. Next thing you know, you just put something on it. It changes the way you're just living every day. Okay. Very well very interesting so before we take that off, let me show you what your brain looks like with your socks on. That's your entire brain, that's the occipital lobe. Pattern recognition, memory output, dreaming, sleeping, all of that. Uh, frontal cortex, pattern rec or, uh, efficiency, speed, accuracy, stamina, how long you can keep going for before you mentally fatigue. So you can see with the tech on, it goes right to homeostasis, which is the lime green right in the middle. How has your life changed since wearing Vox Life products? My uh, recently, which took my vacation, my wife took me on the, it's called a Camino to Santiago. And we walked, um, I think it was about 220 miles over 12 days. And uh, it was an incredible adventure. I mean, it was, uh, you know, it's just totally different spiritually because it's, uh, you definitely got to be, you can't be focused on the goal, you gotta be focused on stepping one foot in front of the other all day. And uh, it, was a, it was an amazing uh, journey for the both of us. Uh, it was something that I certainly, uh, I'm happy we did. And did you, were you wearing the socks on your trip? Yeah, I wore the socks and, uh, and uh, what, what I noticed for me was, uh, you know, there was no pain on my feet. So it really made a big difference. Um, and uh, it just seemed like the next day when I'd wake up, and I was ready for a new fresh day, which was a big difference maker. I mean, everyone that you see on the Camino, they got issues with their toes, they got issues with the stiffness, and they're, they're really struggling uh, over time because it's every day, the pounding. Some days you're on asphalt, some days you're on gravel and the mountains and so forth on big rocks. So uh, that, was a, that was a savior for me, and I was able to recuperate, it seemed faster than everyone else. It's 1987. You're a rookie. You scored 45 goals that season. How do you think you would have performed differently back then if you would have had known a product like this or had access to Vox Life back then? It would have been a big difference having like uh, this type of technology if no one else was using them. <laughs> <laughs> that would be number one. If I was the only one using them, I'd have a big step on everyone. And uh, but once everybody's using them, you know everybody's better for it. And you for, certainly want to make sure you're you're not not using it. Uh, some of our players are using them, but you got to understand something. It's very hard to change a player of what they're used to. So it has to have something that really has an impact. Even at training, it's very hard to actually take them to what they've been used to do to the new thing. Now they all want to get better. So when you put something and you feel good automatically, you keep it. 
So that's what we're seeing. Those are the results that we're seeing with our team. The guys have tried it. They're, they're sticking with it. And that means they're going to start playing with it. So it's 1984. The Kings draft you. 171st pick, the ninth round. Fast forward to today. You're now the president of the LA Kings Hall of Famer. What type of drive and what type of focus did you have as a player and as a businessman to get into this situation today? I remember the, when I got drafted ninth round, wasn't a good friend, but I knew. He goes, yeah, ninth round, man, there's not much of a chance. And I remember brushing it off thinking, well, I'm on, my name's on the list. So now someone needs to look at me. So in my mind, it was up to me to do something about it. Once I made it to the NHL, I never took it for granted. It was like the next day, what can I do today to, to make me better tomorrow? And I, was, I would say that I took what I learned as a player and took it on the business side. You know, Once I retired, I uh, had a certain passion of making a difference with the franchise. And, uh, and I started slowly, but I, I, I tried to consistently learn and, and get better every day. What advice would you give a young athlete coming up today, trying to be the best they could when it comes to something like Vox Life, having access to a product like this? Yeah, I would say to any young player out there, in any sport actually, if you're picking something that you love, you gotta put every advantage on your side. You know, so, you know, I always look, I used to look in, when I was a kid and say, okay, I'm gonna work harder than everybody in my locker room and everybody in the other locker room today. And, but if I had the opportunity to tape my stick different, that thought that was an advantage to me, I did it. If I had the advantage of sharpening my skates a certain way that helped me, I did it. So if you can wear a pair of socks that it helps you, it makes you, helps you concentrate a little bit, helps you recuperation because you have a tournament where you have three games, you gotta wear them. You know, you have to because that's what you love and you're trying to get better at what you do every day. Put everything on your side for something you love. If you're a doctor and you wear the socks, it makes you a better doctor, well, wear the damn socks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you're the second player in NHL history to score a thousand goals being drafted in the ninth round. Yeah. And the Kings retire your jersey. How does that feel? Jersey retired or Hall of Fame, you don't play for that. I played the game because I love the game. And every day that I was in the NHL, I never took it for granted. So I was working harder to stay in the league, you know? It wasn't easy every day, but I loved it every day. Is there anything that you'd like to add personally about the product? Not that I can think of now. It's still, it's still new, it's still you new. know? So I think, uh, but like it's, the pain is, it's amazing. For, it's, yeah, I broke it right here, you know? So it's been, that's very interesting. You don't feel like any pain and when you're moving, even on the hike, there was nothing? No, it was interesting. Huh? I mean, I, you know, before I got the socks, I, I, I had to search the right shoe and everything, but normally it would, it would, it would bother me after a while. It didn't.